What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another rad movie review today to talk about a new slasher film that's currently streaming on Amazon Prime. This is a Blumhouse produced project and it's totally killer. Basically, imagine Back to the Future as a slasher film and that's what this film is and like today you're going to hear my thoughts on it, my positives, the negatives, the rating and then I'm going to send you all home and I hope you all also had a happy awesome Thanksgiving. I know it's been a while since I posted a lot of videos or any videos but I kind of just took this Thanksgiving time and like Black Friday you know weekend just to really soak it up plus I worked the Thanksgiving night and the night before but just really soaked it up with the family and hung out and stuff and wanted to take time off shooting videos and everything but now back to the grind and everything so let's get down to this video. Roll it! Totally Killer is a new slasher film on Prime right now that you can go check it out. This is a horror comedy film, and like I said in my intro, it's basically Back to the Future with a whodunit slasher film as your background, you know what I mean, kind of thing. And this stars Kiernan Shipka, Julie Bonin, and Olivia Holt. And this right here is just a fun, fun ride for me. Like, I enjoy horror comedy, so this kind of leans into this, like, a kind of subgenre that I really enjoy. Think kind of Happy Death Day or Happy Death Day to You or even Freaky. It's kind of in the same vein as those type of movies. So if you enjoy those movies, I think you're really going to enjoy this movie. Is this movie without flaws? No, of course not. It does have its flaws, but let's get into the positives first before we get down to the negatives. So my key main positive for me is I think Kiernan Shipka as Jamie, our lead actress, I think she's fantastic. She's really fun. Probably, like I said, my favorite character, easy in this film and just... To see her when she goes from modern era to the 80s and the time travel thing and how it happens, it's really amazing. And I'm not spoiling anything because this stuff's in the trailer and stuff, but she has a best friend in the current time and modern era that ends up creating a time machine out of like an old arcade machine, which is kind of cool. And when she, Jamie, is attacked by the Sweet 16 killer, which is a killer that 35 years prior killed her mom's best friends and some of her friends and everything and now she's come and now the killer has come back for her mother and attacks Jamie and then while that's happening they get teleported to the 80s and everything or you so it's just it's really really freaking awesome like for me in terms of the storyline the setup and like I said the character her I think it's fun. It's really a fun ride. I didn't go in expecting like a horror horror film. I knew this was going to be more comedy heavy, heavy, and it definitely is. But there are some moments like in particular, the Sweet 16 Killer, like when he goes after her mother in the beginning part of the movie. It's a very Scream style moment, you know, kind of kind of moment. It's really horrific. I think that attack and like what happens in that scene is really awesome. Like the way it's handled, I was like, damn, we might get some really tense horror sequences in here and stuff. But it definitely goes more comedy heavy as the movie progresses. Another positive for this movie is I think the editing and the pace is really fast paced. It doesn't linger too long on any plot point or anything. It kind of goes at a very fast pace and stuff. And like once you get into the thick of it, it's like, you know, about 10 minutes of setup or so. And then the rest of the movie is just, you know, going by trying to figure out who the sweet 16 killer is and trying to get jamie back to her time in time because of course you know time travel movies they always have that element of like oh you went back in time but you have to get back at a certain time or if you don't you're going to be stuck here forever kind of thing you know they play on that kind of trope of course of time travel movies so there's a lot of fun tropes a lot of silly moments in this one and a lot of fun acting and the kills i think that's another positive too is i think the kills in here are not the most creative most gory or gruesome but they serve the you know the movie they're good enough for the film that they're in and that's what i wanted you know what i mean like i said i didn't expect any freddy krueger you know jason Voorhees type kills or any shit like that you know what i mean but this film does have some decent stuff but there are some cutaway kills too because like i said it is uh, i believe this is pg-13 so to be honest for being a pg-13 film I, I actually really had a blast with this film, and it's not like I can't enjoy PG-13, but I usually prefer rated R horror films is because they are able to take the cuffs off and they're able to just, you know, let loose and do whatever they want. But this film was really good for being what it was, and like I said, I really had a fun time with it. And another positive that I actually want to give props to this movie for is that it actually is one of the first movies that I could think of at the top of my head that made me actually dislike the 80s. 
like when Jamie went back to the 80s in this film like there's characters and the way that the is and the the vibe and the nostalgia like I actually disliked it in this film but I actually am giving props to this movie in terms of positives because like I said there's usually I'm all there for 80s nostalgia and 80s quotes and like the way the characters are but this film yeah they actually made me kind of dislike the 80s and stuff like that but let's get into the mixed and negatives because this wasn't a perfect film and everything but in terms of mixed and negatives for me there's one huge glaring one is that the reveal the third act when we get to it that's probably my least favorite part of the movie is like the third act I just didn't like the reveal I felt like it was very underwhelming in terms of who the killer was and it was just it didn't have a punch to it you know what I mean for the rest of the movie the way it's going and stuff I wanted the killer reveal to kind of have this this moment you know what I mean this reveal and it's like oh it kind of pulled the rug out from under you but it's not really anything like that you know it's kind of if you're really good at whodunit storylines and especially if you're like a scream franchise fan you're probably going to be able to pick out the killer in this film within like the first 15 to 20 minutes of the movie Another thing is some of our side actors in terms of when she goes back to the 80s, Jamie, our main character, uh, when she goes back to the 80s, some of the characters are really fun, like the uh, her best friends, the younger version of her best friend's mom, because her mom is a scientist too, and that's why she's like very into time travel and creating the time travel machine. She gets the uh, bet her best friend's mom to help her in the past. She's a great character, but in terms of some of her... Uh, the moms, Jamie's mom's friends, and the way the mom acts, like, oh, man, I wasn't really, like, into that. Some of those characters, it was very cringy. Even the dialogue and the comedy, it was very kind of 60-40 landing for me. Like, 60% of the time I was laughing, and 40% of the time I was kind of like, ugh. But overall, in my book, Totally Killer, I still had a fantastic time with this one. Like I said, it's not without its flaws. It still has some huge flaws in it and everything that are going to keep it from being in the top top of horror films this year but I still recommend checking this one out is it better than happy death day and happy death day to you not really I just because I like the character of tree so much I really do I like this film a little bit better than freaky though like freaky I know some people fans of freaky might be really mad at me for saying that but this one is like I said kind of in the same vein as those films so when you're going into this movie expect that kind of tone to the film so totally killer in my book I know you're here for the rating that's always what we're going to get down to the rad rating in my book is going to be a 7.5 out of 10 like i said that just some of those negatives are really keeping it from being that 8 out of 10 type film that would keep it into probably the top 20 horror films of the year that's going to keep it out of that top 20 list because of some of the negatives like that third act is very underwhelming and was probably my least favorite part of the film but thanks for sticking around with me all as we chatted totally killer please let me know down in the comment section if you've seen this film like i said it's currently streaming on prime that's where you can check it out so we can discuss down below and even if you haven't seen it and you want to talk let me know how your thanksgiving day it was and how the holiday was because i had a freaking fun time and i would love to discuss with all of you down below how was y'all's thanksgiving but be sure to like this video subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime i post a video but most importantly i want you all to have a safe and happy day peace out